You know, Angie, the seventh floor isn't only about video production. People talking loud, speakers blaring. <laughs> Minds are constantly at work, coming up with the next big thing. That explains the Jeans commercial that recently broke out on the fifth and seventh floors. That's right. The audience development crew got to work comfy clothes for a day and brainstorm. So while us video kids were jealous, the audience development kids showcased their ideas. A number of us on this floor talked about the desire to, you know, just have some free time to do what we felt like we wanted to do. And uh, for the benefit of the company. And we've cited examples of other companies like Google that they give their employees 20% of their time just to work on pet projects. And uh, what that's evolved into for Google is this whole Google Labs concept that became Gmail, became uh, their RSS reader, Google Maps. All of that came out of Google's probably their 20, those were pet projects that smart people in the company had these ideas and ran with them that were not initially big company initiatives. So we were given the whole day today to just team up with whoever we wanted to and to just run with a technology or an idea or an initiative that we thought would bring the company forward or would be something that we wanted to investigate. I've been working with Ryan Marshall and he and I both have always been kind of intrigued and interested in social media. You know, that could be anything from Facebook to it's just, it's any space where people use the internet to talk to each other and have conversations and exchange information. And um, so we decided today that we'd make some efforts to get more of the company on board with using a platform called Twitter. The way I like to think about it is a communications platform. Um, it's a microblogging site. Um, you're limited to 140 characters in your post, so you have to be really brief in what you say and very concise, so it helps people from having um, having to come up with a long post like a normal blog. And it's just a connection of people that are having a continual conversation. And um, our idea, Jay and I, is we want to um, participate in that conversation as an organization. I'm Brad Ballou and Brian and I today are working on a mobile TV solution. We want to bring News OK videos to the iPhone, Blackberry, other mobile devices. We've used some Brightcove API calls to pull in all the most recent videos just like you have on the home page of News OK. We've developed kind of the three different pages. It's kind of a change in lingo we're experimenting with from what people are used to viewing video on the web but using TV terms, using the term DVR, using the term channels and getting people to think like this is a mobile TV station. What I've been working on is learning how to style a website properly for an iPhone. There are a few hacks done just to get it done in time for a presentation tomorrow, but I've already come leaps and bounds from where I started at. Uh, one of the other things that we're trying to do with it, I've seen a few new ad products out there on mobile sites, and I've just basically tried to reproduce one or two of them and see if I can figure out the technology behind it. We are playing around with a uh, tweak for Wimgo. Basically, we're looking at uh, the way that you schedule your events, say that you're going somewhere, and basically we're just kind of tweaking that. Basically, we've got your events that you've uh, said that you're going to. You can, uh, remind, you can have a reminder sent to you the day of, say, the uh, day before, a week. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, some of your friends. Then we've, we've actually got a calendar here that shows what days you have events scheduled on. I'm Jake Behrens. Um, I'm working on a iPhone app. Uh, it's a native iPhone app that allows you to do community journalism. Uh, you can basically take photos or select a photo that you've already taken and then you can uh, upload it through a service, give it a description, give it a category of news and, uh, and then it's something that other people can look at, see what's going on around them. Uh, it'll carry geolocation with it so that um, the GPS coordinates, it'll be able to pinpoint where the news was and everything like that. It's going pretty well. Um, I've, uh, I've got pretty much the basics uh, down, so uh, we're just working on some graphic design for it, the web interface, things like that. I'm Steve Ayler. Uh, I'm working on a proposal for a uh, new high school uh, sports stats website. It's kind of like uh, Facebook or MySpace for high school sports where you can uh, 
the coaches will enter the data for the for the the teams and the players, and we'll have all the stats that we have now. Only you'll be able to share those stats uh, with widgets and on on your MySpace and your Facebook accounts, and you'll also be able to have friends and follow teams and follow players. My name's James Duncan. Work under Andy on Andy's team. Um, working on a different presentation for video, um, mimicking a popular plugin for a browser called PicLens, um, brought, published by Cool Iris. Main benefits from it are we get to, I've already hooked up Omniture so we can have analytics, see who's watching what, um, and we'll also be able to put in our own advertising. So that's kind of the difference between the already current product that's available. It's just a small plugin, um, allows you to load in a media RSS. Um, with that media RSS, it puts it in a 3D wall type look and feel. Um, you can kind of zoom out. It just gives you a really totally different way to browse content. Once you find something you might be interested in, everybody likes Sam Bradford these days. You'll zoom in, um, video will begin to play. I'm working on a photo mosaic that's supposed to take a pool of smaller photos uh, that makes up a larger one as it kind of resolves as you step out. We could target making really large posters. We're talking like 30 by 40 or 50 inch posters for sports fans. Andy had brought up the idea of using, uh, making a poster out of images for a year in review. So we could take all the article images that we've had for the past year and kind of pixelize it uh, to resolve to a larger main image that may summarize that particular year. Billy Mabry, a web developer here at El Publico, and what I'm working on is a self-serve ad manager. Uh, the idea being that an advertiser could go to this site and order an ad on News OK. They could choose you know, the section they want it to appear under, uh, the date range that they, they wanted on the site, and actually choose the location on the page where it would show up. Julie and I have been working on the WIMGO scavenger hunt. It's basically a scavenger hunt that starts with um, teams who get together and uh, drive around the city to different, whether they're sponsors or advertisers or whatnot. Um, they have to find clues in order to uh, get the next clue and move on. And it's obviously a timed event. And, um, and then obviously winners get prizes. We're working on a project to create a web-based file management system for all our graphic files. So what that'll entail is uh, any photographs that we use, any iStock photographs we purchase outside, any kind of files that we, that we use graphically that we can store to where everybody have access uh, via web. It eliminates duplication, uh, it keeps our brand consistency correct. Great ideas, very talented people. That's for sure. It's one thing to have great ideas, but it's quite another to actually create them and bring them to life. Congrats to all. And I'm wearing jeans for the rest of this month. <laughs> hey, I want to be creative.